fly with me, no fireflies, let's take flight Firefly gave me what we shine through the night We light up the skies, no matter the game In every adventure, you know my name Firefly gave me my stories at night Every challenge we face it with all our might Welcome to the fake world roleplay where tales unfold Hillbillies to gangs, the drama's always bold Mickey and Dicky, Billy and Dave Jimmy and Jean, Wild Rides, they brave Christopher and Jean in the purple toe Tuco and Paco with the gangster flow Lawrence and Hagrid, out for a spin Skeeter, Huckleberry in the game, ready to win In the fake world roleplay where legends play Every day's an adventure in a unique way Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Make Sticky Flash and if you have a five like game and we just left Coachella, we're gonna be you know, driving around and seeing what's out here, you know. Fresh new start, away from the set person we're not gonna talk about. You know, been laying low for a good while. I know, you know, Chico and Paco are thinking about trying to, you know, Get, get me a bar again so me and Dickie can work and just lay low, you know. I always, you know, get trumped up and on the news or whatnot, because it's gonna cause attention for, you know, uh, you know, so who, you know, to come and, you know, cause bribes with us, you know. We, we don't need that. Definitely don't need that. And yeah, just. Yep, so that's, you know, Dickie's been laying low for a while. I don't know exactly where he's at, but, you know, Paco Tuco assured me that he's in good hands and he's safe. They said they, plus he could always jump over the border when he got to, which I think that's where he's at right now. He's in Canada. I, I, they haven't got my card or whatnot. Which kind of sucks, you know. But it is what it is, you know. I eventually get my card and go to go to Canada. It'll be worth it, you know. This thing is What the hell? What? I was actually arrested in. Oh shit. I wonder what the fuck that guy's doing. I almost hit him. I think he ran a red light, so that would have been his fault. Then again, he said, she said, no, no, no for it, I don't got a bad skin in here. Oh, shit. But he told us that we had laid low with that, so I don't know, it's kind of hard to lay low, you know? Sometimes, you know, it's just right time, right place, you know, you got to make some cash, you know. I don't care if it's robbing banks, robbing ATMs, you know, I don't think about a bank by myself, but, you know, ATMs, you know, uh, cash residues, you know, stealing people's stuff, selling it. I've done that before, selling drugs, but I uh, can't really do that. Two come back and say, we got to lay low, we start doing that, you know, who's going to catch wind and be like, oh, there's uh, two guys out in this certain location and they're, they're doing good because, you know, he's got lots of people that he's got information that he can just go get, uh, you know, and then he'll be like, oh, so they screwed me over, tried to get me to go to jail, but they were selling for me, but they kept on messing up even though we weren't messing up, it was just him, you know, not wanting to protect us in the right way and they told us to F off, get better, and it just, come on, man, you can't tell us to fuck off, get better, like, what the fuck, man? I mean, you know, just, you know, just all this nonsense and him kidnapping Dickie and then kidnapping me and, you know, we're just gone, you know. Just not, not, gonna, not gonna try to worry about, you know, uh, the nonsense and whatnot, you know. It's just laying low, so that's why we can't do that because, you know, he, he's got people that's like, oh yeah, two guys out in this certain location and they're selling lots of product? Wow. And they're doing better than my guys, and he's in a sector, but there's only two guys that I know as a duo that could do a good job like that. 
and so it's a good part of the bed. And then you're like, put two and two together, you know. I ain't trying to get caught up in this. Fuck that, you know. I ain't, I ain't getting caught up in that nonsense. I get caught up in that bullshit, you know. Then he's gonna, you know, find us and kidnap us again. That's why, like, kind of, like, Dicky kind of wanted to go to, uh, you know, uh, Northern, um, Canada, you know. Because he don't think Marcus go out there, but he doesn't know who Marcus is. And two point five will reassure him that, but, you know. I said, if he could find me after a plane crash and he knew I was on that plane, they would they ugh, no. It, j it just can't be, you know. Daddy's garage over here. It's good to know if I ever need to get my car fixed. It's, things are trusty rust bucket though, so I shouldn't have to worry too much, you know. Oh shit, they got these lights working. They weren't working the other day when I drove past. Two people back or show me around, you know? I was in the back, you know. But they didn't really show me too much. It was pretty dark and they were kind of laying low because, you know, they done some things they don't want to discuss, talk about. And I told them, understandable. You know, I got things like that too, you know. They don't talk about it, don't want to discuss about it, you know. Later. A few moments later. Alright, how much do I owe you? I ain't paying you that much. I only had, you know, some orange chicken. I had uh, some egg drug soup. Um, you know, I had a few of these different uh, bowls that you offer up here. Yeah, maybe maybe it is that much. Yeah, but nah. No, I ain't paying it. Fuck off. I'm leaving. Call the caps. Okay, I'll be long gone for the caps come. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't pain. I ain't pain. Kinda tastes like cat to be honest with you, some of it. What what did that president that's running for uh America he said something about uh they're eating they're eating the cats? I guess I ate a cat today. And, and kinda, I mean, I don't know what cat tastes like, but it did. Some of the stuff I ordered didn't taste like Chinese, I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, I can definitely tell you that for sure. But, you know, it is what it is. See, I'm long gone. Getting out of Rockswood, and by the time, you know, Cops show up. Yeah, they might get my car and camera. I'll be long gone now. Man, shit. Guess we'll just go back to uh, Coachella and go smoke with some weed, you know? This fucking traffic's slow, though. Fuck. Ah. I'm going to relax, you know. Might as well just run out my windows. The air conditioner does a fucking work. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. You know. Like, it, it blows cold, but it's it just not cold enough, you know. It's an old van, what do you expect, uh, I guess? You see, I'm long gone. I'm out of uh, Rockswood, you know? She says she's in for the cops, you know? See? Fucking traffic is fucking ridiculous, man. Alright, guys, fucking go.
that. See, we already up and completed, so I can make it back to Coachella. And I guess she'll be fine. We already made it here to the highway, see? If you guys aren't going, I guess I'm going. Yeah. yeah, let's go to the jail. Let me see if uh, you know, Johnny or Ricky or someone over here has some weed, man. Let's go there smoking some weed, you know. See, I told that lady I'd get away with it. She said that I was using a better cop, so I was going to go to jail. Doesn't look like I'm going to jail today, lady. I can tell you that for a fact. Shit, I think, to be honest with you, if cops came and got me, I'd be more safe in jail than I would be in, you know, out here on the streets. But I kind of don't want to go to jail, to be honest with you. I prefer to be out of jail, but I mean, I guess in jail, but then again, he, he knows people. He could probably pay someone, and then, you know, all of a sudden, like, we're walking with the guards and whatnot, like we're seeing in movies, and then, like, the guard walks to the door, but then the door gets shut. He can't save his buddy. His buddy gets beat up and gets attacked, and, you know, and then all of a sudden, the guy that's, like, on the other side of the door, other people are choking that guy out because other inmates, like, realize no shit. It's time to fucking set, set us free, you know? There, there goes Mickey Sticky Flowers. He died because of a prison riot. And then everyone just started going for zonkers. I don't know. It's a 50-50, it's a you know? I'm, I'm safe out here. I'm safe in there. I'm not safe in there. I'm not safe out here, you know? Just, just, I guess I, I should have paid. You know, that's not laying low, but... Yeah. That's fine, I'll call two cool later when I get the controller if I make it. But you know, fucking if uh, the cops pull me over, I just tell them like, I didn't want to pay because some of it tastes like cat and I didn't even finish it off. Even though I did finish it off, but... I just... Say, well, the proof is gone because she she threw it away. So, you know, that's what that's what I'll say, you know. But as I, as I told the lady, I don't think I'm gonna get pulled over. And they ain't coming after me. I'm already all the way almost back to Sandy, so if they wanted me, they would have came ahead to me, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I ain't breaking any lines. I mean, I could go, you know, break some laws and grab it, you know. I mean, technically, I did break a law, but, you know, physically, you know, kind of no, because, you know, I, I refuse to pay, you know. It tastes like that. And that's what, if I got pulled over, I would tell the guys, you know. Like, if, you know, uh, I get pulled over. I say that guy that's running for, uh, for the the uh, the U.S. president of this city, uh, of this you know country, and I, he says something about eating the cats. And I went to a Chinese restaurant. And what do you know, man? It t I mean, I don't know what the cat tastes like, but it tastes like Chinese. So maybe we are eating cats. But, I mean, and that's what I would say if I get pulled over. As I said, see, so far so good, you know. Made it back here to Coachella, see? Yeah, shit. Shit, 
It's like midday. He's in his tent sleeping already. I know his van's here. It's right there. He's got the same van as me. Just in that yellow. I told him. Yo, Johnny. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some money in your drawer and grab some weed, man. If you, if you don't mind. Yeah, shit. It's a smoke. I don't think he heard me. Maybe he did. I don't know. Technically, he's in his tent, you know. Fuck it. Oh, shit. I've got enough. He, he might not. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just take a little. Just, just take one. Oh, shit. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I'm, feel, I'm, feel, I'm feeling good. Yeah. Shit, uh, Let's make some more of my fucking weed. Oh shit. Fuck it. Instead of smoking weed, I'm just gonna take another one of these. Oh, he's got ecstasy? Uh, I'll take another one of these, cause. Well, he shouldn't be too mad. I'll have two for five gold reimbursing. Whoa. 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 I, is that? What? 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 Wait! Wait! What? What's What's going on? What's going on? What? 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 what, what is stuff falling from the sky, man? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? It's barrels, man. It's barrels upon barrels. Wait, wait, what, what? A chair just fell from the sky? Wait, is that, is that moving? No, not my van. Come on, not my van, man. Not my van. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh fuck. Gotta get out of here, man. Fuck, fuck. Ah oh, shit, fuck. I can't drive, man. Ah oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Ah oh, shit. Ricky, what is in that, man? What, what'd you give me, man? You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? Ah, uh, shit. Take more. Uh, uh, I mean, sure, I'll have two. Uh, fine, I'll take more, man. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, I don't know how much more of this I should be taking. It shit's falling from the sky, man. Wait, what? What the? Is that, is that a... Is that a clown? Is that a clown? I know. I don't. I don't. I don't like clowns, man. Get out of here. Is, is, what? What? Those things are falling from the sky. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Take more. What do you mean, take more? Oh, shit. Oh, man, I'll, I'll take more. Man, I'm gonna overdose. Take two at once? Yeah. Dude, you fucking crazy. Alright. I'll take one more.
Oh my god, man. Oh my god, man. What is, what is going on? What is going on, man? Oh, oh man. Oh. What is going on? I can't see. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what's going on. Wow. <laughs> wow. Help. 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 No. Help. Stop. Leave me alone. Stop. No. No. Stop. Quit. Stop. Quit. You guys are scared me. No. 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 Back. Back up. Leave me alone. Stop. Stop. Leave me alone. Stop. There's aliens, man. There's aliens, man. Oh my god, there's aliens everywhere. I don't know what to do. I'm losing my mind. Ugh. Get out. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, buddy? No, man. I was seeing aliens everywhere, man. And just, I just. Just take a seat for me, okay? What did you take today? So, some guy over here, I was chilling at Coachella, man. He gave me, I just got back from the Chinese restaurant, man. He gave me some, uh -huh. he gave me some LSD, man. And I, I, I just flew in the sky, I thought. Or I don't know if I did. I don't know. I was just seeing things, man. Hey, you don't have a gun or anything, do you? No, no, man. I, I don't carry guns anymore. Alright. Alright, do, do you want an ambulance or anything, dude? No, uh, I just, I'm just tripping out, man. And I, th I, th I think some lady said that she was calling the, call, calling the cops. She felt scared, but I don't know what was in that LSD, man. Yeah, and we got a couple of calls about it, about you out here. Wait, a couple of calls. Uh, yeah, look. So you, you don't want an ambulance or anything to come check you out? No, man. I, I, I kind of feel a little better now. It's just I was seeing aliens and whatnot everywhere, man. No, no, no. I was some guy named Johnny gave it to me. What's Johnny's last name? No, I don't know his last name. It's just some random guy medical trailer and he said he had drugs. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, all right, man. And like, give me one. And he gave me, and I took it. And then I started seeing aliens and clowns. And then I thought I was flying for a minute, man. Yeah, right. Did you give some hey, of that maybe. stuff to these locals around here? Cause man, they've been driving like crazy tonight. Uh, I got yeah. it. I got it from. I got it from some guy named Johnny. Maybe he's giving it out to the locals out here. Well, my advice in the future, man, maybe don't take shit from Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he said he was Johnny on the spot. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't really hook you up. No, yeah. it, it really didn't. Because I was seeing aliens, man. I don't like aliens. Fair enough. All right, dude. Well, if you don't want an ambulance, you, uh, you don't want any help, then uh, all I can say is all the best, and maybe stay off that kind of shit. Mm, all right. I mean, I can't promise that, though, but I'll try. <laughs> all right, dude. Good luck, okay? All right. Uh, phew, I thought they came because of the, the other car. Oh, shit. Yeah, Johnny, I'm No, I think she's stuck. Hey, you're not gonna drive. No, yeah, get out of the vehicle. I'm not gonna drive. Why is that? Out of the vehicle. Oh, okay. I'll get out of the vehicle. Why? What's going on, man? You, you can't drive a car, dude. After what you just told me, right? You need to sleep in your van, sleep it off, but you can't drive from here, okay? All call right. someone to come get you. All right, I'll call for a taxi, okay. man. All right, perfect. I appreciate that. Hey, right, man. Don't we see you in that vehicle? 
One hour later. Turn right. Continue straight. Oh. Yeah, shit. Alright, so. Cops left, you know, I figured I'd come this way, you know. Yeah, cold days. Hard day in hell for this on me here. Go out that way and get caught. I know that they probably got some cops over there. I'll find a way to get out from this way. Stab your way. Can't take any breaks. Yeah, down in the spot. Hey, wait, you down have spot. a ride. You have your drugs, man. Definitely down in the spot. Tell you that for a fact. Too fast on that road, they want to fuck up my van too much, you know. They gave it like five minutes for them to leave. Tell me that. I mean, I feel a little better now. I don't see the end of them more. Might be a little messed up. But I get, you know, I'm used to it, you know. Stoned up in the 70s, man. I do drugs all the time. It's just whatever, you know, Johnny had in those fucking, uh, that LSD that he gave me was fucking crazy, man. Tell me I can grab my van in Iraq or story that he heard. That's okay, I just go to my bar and not open up. Well, it's not my bar yet, but soon to be. I just go there check it out. Shit, wait, I forgot. I didn't want to buy this bar. It was a bar that was out there. I haven't seen. Thought about this one, but this one wasn't that great. I think two of my bikers so they wouldn't try to get a connection with these uh, these bikers. To check it out. I don't think I've been there yet. Yeah, there's a cop right there. That's not good. Uh, shit, fuck. Thank you. Get my car, you piece of shit. What's your problem? Fucking took my horn out. Can't even hear my fucking horn now. You fucking. Did you clip my wires? You're lucky you're going out to where cops are. I ain't going that way, piece of shit. Can just fucking sideswipe me, man. Good thing this is, you know, made out of the material it was made out back in the day and not that stupid little plastic shit. 
car would have been totaled. Okay, let my car get totaled. But, yeah, I think this is the bar I wanted to work. This is where that Johnny guy works. Because he was a biker. Oh shit. What's going on, Johnny? Yeah, that shit fucked me up, man. And you fucking scrammed when the cops came. What do you mean? Oh shit. You got more? Oh, okay. Show me what you got. I'll take whatever you got. Shit, what do you got? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I'll take an X this time. Man? Shit, hey, give, give me the ecstasy. I don't want no fucking man. Yeah, yeah shit. Fuck. Hey, right, have a good one, man. That should be a little bit good to drive in this. We'll find out, I guess. Told me I shouldn't be driving. some motels for the day. So sleeping in my van. Hey, I think it will give me a motor Fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I almost hit that cap, man. Fuck. Button, turn the engine off. Alright, engine's up, man. Trying to cause any problems, man. Try to give us that small. Alright, you want you want to do me a favor and step out? Okay, man. I step out, man. Okay. Go ahead and come back here with me, alright? Hey, right, man. And do you mind if I just patch you down? Just make sure you don't have any weapons or anything on you? Oh, uh, sure, man. You can pat me down. I ain't got no weapons okay. on me, man. Here after you 
Okay. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Okay, what's this wallet? Yeah, it's just ID. It's just, it's just oh. my, I don't got a wallet, man. Gotcha. Mickey Flowers. Alright, I'm gonna set this up here, alright? Alright, man. Alright, so what's going on tonight? I don't know. I mean, earlier, I mean, it, it's been a while. I, I waited for a while when, when the other cops left because they told me I had to let it wear down. But some guy gave me some LSD earlier and I, I let it wear down and I was driving and then. Some guy started, some guy almost hit me, and then I went to go try to talk to him, and then he was, like, talking a bunch of crap to me and whatnot, and then he said I was, like, swerving, he was going to cut the caps on me. Okay. And uh, did you, did you happen to take any more of what Johnny gave you? Oh, uh, well, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm, just a little. Just a little? How, how long ago? It was like after you guys left, I took a little more, and then I just waited a while. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm okay to drive. I mean, I may have swerved a little, but he's the okay. one that almost hit me. He came on like he no. didn't even yield or nothing, man. Now, do you feel funky at all? Lightheaded, fuzzy, oh, cloudy mind? I, I feel lightheaded, cloudy mind all the time, man. I got some guy out there that's looking for me to kill me. His name's Marcus Van Dam. So you you're saying you've sobered up or just a little bit? It just, it just sobered up just a little bit. I mean, I'm just okay to I'm, I'm okay to drive. I, I mean, I say so. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I say I'm okay to drive, but I, I'm really not. I almost hit the fucking cop, but I didn't see him coming that way. To be honest with you. And this Johnny, did did he happen to mention the the substance that he sold to you? Oh, uh, this time he gave me ecstasy. Ecstasy. Okay. So you're still under the influence of the LSD and the ecstasy now? Yeah. Well, I would say a little bit more of the ecstasy, a little less of you know the LSD. Okay, but it's still both, right? Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Gotcha. I see. Well, you must be having a fun night then, huh? It's Friday night, man. You know, just. You know, new town, new place, you know, I met some cool people and they gave me some drugs, so I took it. Well, I'm glad to hear that you met some cool people, but, it, I mean, you think we should be taking drugs from people that we just met? You think that's a smart idea? Well, it's better than paying for them. Well, even paying for them, just, if you had just met them, that's not a great idea, is it? Yeah, I mean... Not too smart? Yeah, shit, that's a nice golf cart. I would say so. Yeah, but, yeah, but, no, yeah, but, nah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm from the 70s, man. I like to smoke my weed, you know. I definitely smoke my weed, but, you know, the other drugs I barely do time to time because, you know, I did go to rehab and I got myself clean, but, you know, when someone's going to offer it to me for free, I can't, I can't pass that up, you know. Gotcha. I see. Well, I mean, you know you're under the influence of all this stuff. You, you know you shouldn't be driving, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I apologize about that. I was actually coming here to the motels. I knew it was somewhere over here and get me a room for the night. Well, you, this is the second time we've spoken with you in, in the past 24 hours. Yeah, well, yeah, I know, but the first time you told me to stay back for a while, and I did. But then, you know, Johnny, before I left, he said, you know, I got some other drugs, and I said, oh, and I just took it and left, and, you know. Well, do you remember the reason that we told you not to take off right then and there? Yeah, 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 I understand. I should have never done so, but, you know, just I just want to come to a room so I can just lay in a bed, well, you know, you feel more to... relaxed. You went to rehab and got yourself clean. What made you get back into stuff? Well, see, there it's, it's a long story. My brother, he was trying to go out. My brother, his name's Dicky Icky Cheese, and he was trying to go out with this cop that was on a force in Wisconsin. Well, it turned out that she wasn't a girl. She was actually a guy, but, you know, sex change and whatnot. So he got clean, and then he wanted to be with her, so he just up and left me. And we're like brothers for life. Like, we do everything together, and he just up and left. So, you know, I just went through a rough phase, and you know, and... I haven't seen him for a long time, and then I got some guy that we used to sell drugs for back in the day in California. He's out there looking for us to kill us because we snitched in him. Gotcha. Okay. Well, here's the deal. 
obviously you know we can't have you driving on the roadways while you're under the influence of any illicit substance. Uh, I mean, right? I'm kind of parked now, so can I just go get a room and we call it a night? Uh, you're not quite parked, unfortunately. You're not even in the parking spot. And this is the second time we've spoken with you tonight. Oh, come on, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to try to better myself. I just Let me go to sleep for tonight, and I promise I'll wake up a new man tomorrow. Hopefully, I don't run into Johnny, at least. Well, <laughs> I, I, again, here's the problem. This is the second time we've spoken with you tonight. It's been under 24 hours. We're speaking with you again about the same thing. Come on, you, and ain't there like a three-strike policy? I won't get a third strike. There's, there's not. There's <laughs> not. Yeah, come on, man. I could just, I could just give you the keys. You could park it up for me. And I'll just go get me a room and I'll, I'll sub up for the night. You won't see me back on the road. You know I can't do that. Come on, man, please. I'm, I want to bet. As much I, as I would love to cut you a break, you know I can't do that, right? Well, I know you can't, but you know you could just say that you did and you didn't, and then you let me go. But you know. But that would be on my paperwork that I did, and then they're not going to see you, and then I'm going to get in trouble and lose my job. I don't want to do that. Uh, no, I don't want you to lose your job either, you know. But, you know, come on, man. It, just a second time, just give me a ticket or something. You know, I'm not... I would love to, but I, I can't do that. I'm in a position right now where I just can't give you a break. So, so all right, so here's the deal. How about we take you down to the station, we keep you overnight, let you sober up, and then we will release you in the morning on a court summons. Yeah, I mean, I guess that sounds good, you know. I just don't, I, I really don't want to go to the big prison again. I've been there many times before, man. I'm tired of that place. I get it. And, you know, I my goal in this job isn't to just book people in and, and send them to jail. Because I know those jails suck. You know, I've been there. Yeah, they, they suck. They really do. Yeah, I know people don't live great lives there, and a lot of them there are in for worse crimes than you could ever imagine. Murder, you know. You oh, may... yeah, I've been to jail for murder before. I murdered my wife. Gotcha, I see. And then my so and then my getting out? Well, I got a good lawyer, and then my brother, he murdered my, uh, my son, Mickey Jr. They kept on snitching on us, man. And so how did you get out? Uh, as I said, I got a good lawyer, you know. I, I I mean, technically it was self-defense because a month before I killed her, she threw me off her bridge and tried killing me. So, you know, I just, you know, lied to my lawyer. Well, that's not that's, that's not self-defense. I mean, I lied to my lawyer and told him that she was beating me up and trying to throw me over the bridge again. So the gun got pulled out and the trigger got pulled, you know, multiple times. I was scared. And then, you know, the judge actually bought that. Gotcha. I see. Well... I mean, it's, I'm not, a, it's not my <laughs> position to, you know, book you on those charges, but we can let the courts decide that, but tonight my only issue is you driving while intoxicated and, and just being out and about when you're intoxicated, because yeah. I, I worry about your safety and I worry about the safety of others, so how about we just take a ride down to the station, we keep you overnight, let you sober up and release you on a court summons. You're not going to take my van to it, are you? Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. Uh, come on, man. That, that that's my home. I got I sleep in there at Coachella. I, I understand. I understand. Okay, but the this motel is private property, and we can't have vehicles here that are unauthorized to be. Here. Then how, how about so, how about I just get in and move it? We can't do that. Okay. Well, why not? Because you're intoxicated, and I'm not gonna let you behind the wheel. Uh, all right. Well, it's not gonna be expensive to get it out of the impound, is it? I'm not sure what fees they charge nowadays. Uh, I I couldn't I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Well, how about we let your cop car get impounded? You could tell me. Well, how about <laughs> we can? Uh, I'll let you give them a call once you get to the station. We get your process and everything, and then you can ask them what their fee would be. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll see if I can work something out to kind of get you, you know, a discount because. Living out of a van, I can't imagine you have a whole lot of money right this uh, morning, do you? Yeah, uh, no, no, I mean, uh, pretty soon I will because my cousin, uh, he tried burning down my bar I once owned, and I'm getting money for that. And once I get the money for that, I'm going to try to buy a bar out here. Gotcha. Okay. So, as well, of right now, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, that's why, you know, when he said free drugs, you know, 
strapped on cash, free drugs, you know. I ain't, I ain't gonna pass that up. Gotcha. Alright, well, for right now, we're gonna have to take you down to the station, keep you overnight. We'll release you out in the morning with the corpse summons, be okay? Be before you do, hold on, let me take this last LSD pill. That's not. Yep. Uh, really? Okay. Well, Am I gonna need to call an ambulance? Nah, you, you should be good. Okay. Alright, go ahead and turn and face my car. Alright. Alright, go ahead and place your hands behind your back. I'm just gonna cuff you, alright? Oh! Oh! Eh! Oh, I'm seeing things. Okay. I'm seeing well, things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call an ambulance out for, for you, alright? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, my legs hurt. What just happened? Oh, there's things falling from the sky. The sky is falling. I don't see anything falling. No, it's falling. There's barrels and everything. Hey, look out. I, One's I, gonna hit you. Oh, no, it just hit you, man. I don't see anything. Okay. The medics are gonna come check you out once they figure out how to get up in here. Whoa, I'm seeing all these colors. Whoa. They're just gonna drive in circles for a minute. Okay, there they come. Whoa. All right, so they're gonna come check you out. All right, they're gonna take you to the hospital. And then uh, they will, they'll take you down to the station, they'll book you from there, and then we'll get your court summons written up. They'll give it to you there, all right? Whoa, I'm hearing all these sounds, whoa. Whoa. Later, officer. I don't know where I'm Good going. Luck. Whoa! No, my van. No, don't. No, you're. you're no. Yeah, yeah. No, put me back in my van. Yeah. Whoa! Hey, I'm seeing all these colors. Whoa, man. Where are we going? The hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. Come on, let me out. Come on, let me out. Come on, let me out of this thing. Do you guys know how to drive? Oh, well, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna. Oh, well. Well. Oh. This guy is falling. It's all blurry. Whoa. <laughs> this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alrighty, Vicky Sticky Flowers is going to the hospital. Until the next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Fly with me, no fireflies, let's take flight. Firefly game, and we shot through the night. We light up the skies, no matter the game. In every adventure, you know my name. Firefly game, and we're stories at night. Every challenge we face, it with all our might. Welcome to the fake world, roleplay where tales unfold. Hillbillies to gangs, the drama's always bold. Mickey and Dicky, Billy and Dave. Jimmy and Gene, wild rides, they brave Christopher and Gene in the purple toe Tuco and Paco with the gangster flow Lawrence and Hagrid, out for a spin Skeeta, Huckleberry in the game, ready to win In the fake world, roleplay where legends play Every phase of adventure in a unique way